Hey folks, welcome. So in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, designs I've done with Fusion 360 that I also uh, use for uh, demonstration and I help create models for clients in the past and I do it for my design, but mostly just to create things for the radio control world I live in. And each of these were like, this is a Bombay for a bomber that I created. Here's a flap I created. So a lot of this folks goes into the models I build, the big ones, um, but I also 3D print engines, 3D print engines I'll talk about in a minute. This is a flap design for a B36. And folks, one of the things about Fusion 360 is it's really, really easy to learn. It took me six months to really master it, but you spend an hour every night for six months and you'll master it. But I use this for so many different things. Uh, I use it to demonstrate how different things work in videos. Like I put together these servo arm lengths versus the control, har uh, control arm length on a servo and the uh, like elevator. And here's a different size like arm on the servo. And folks, one of the neat things about this is you can really start to understand how you're going to design parts and components that will go on your model. Okay, and I uh, have done some fascinatingly cool projects with people once I mastered Fusion 360. I do have two Prusa 3D printers, and I've had them over five years, and one's got like 20 miles of filament printed through it. But overall, folks, um, I don't think there's anything better than Fusion 360 for uh, the hobby. Now, I do pay for a professional license because I was doing a lot of projects for clients. This is a 3D radio I designed in Fusion 360. Here's the um, basically a Cub engine I designed. This is a Mercedes engine I designed. This is the Larone I designed, which was one of the coolest projects I did, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. This was just a dummy radio in the cylinder. Sometimes people just wanted me to make cylinder heads for them. Uh, this is my J5, which is one of the coolest projects I ever did. And I'll show you in a minute that um, it became part of a museum piece, basically. This was the printed and finished engine I created for a client. And um, folks, this was just absolutely kick-ass to design in Fusion 360 and then 3D print this and then paint it and detail it and uh, deliver it to my client. And this is the Spirit of St. Louis it was mounted on. And uh, it was just a spectacular build, folks. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say about it. It just, it looked really, really good. But one of the things I want to uh, also talk about is a product that I did for my uh, MSL2, which is my 188-inch um, kind of a air racing type airplane. But this is the 3D radio uh, uh, I designed. It's a true two-row radio. And I 3D printed this. You'll see pictures here in a minute. And um, essentially, folks, this was absolutely crazy. I TIG welded the uh, motor mount for it out of thin wall um, chrome molly. And the nice thing about Fusion 360 is you design it all it's in perfect scale. And when you actually go to build it, everything fits perfect. There were a couple of things I had to make sure I did in this. If you look through the cylinders there, you can see air. Uh, that was to let the air through um, from my electric motor that was in the middle of this. You can see right there my hacker motor in the middle. So each of these cylinders had to be custom designed to let air flow through them so the motor wouldn't overheat. And there you can see at the back side of the fins, those openings, that's where the air would come out of the cylinder. The front was closed, the back was open like that. And uh, that's what it looks like on the two row. These are my two Prusas running, running their butts off, making the uh, cylinders. And uh, it took about um, five days, both printers running 24 hours a day to print this entire radial engine. And this is all the parts laid out on a table. And this was just an incredible project to do, folks. They work so good. This is my uh, TIG welded motor mount I made for the airplane. And if you've never seen the airplane, just go to my YouTube folks and I've got all kinds of videos with my MSL on it. It's 61 pounds, 188 inch wingspan. 
This is the firewall I made, which had a very thin plywood and a little bit of carbon fiber. This was me mounting the cylinders and the engine. And uh, it just looked really good, folks. The finished product on this just turned out great. That's the airplane sitting in my garage. And this was when I was first starting to put the spark plug wires on. And unfortunately, folks, I don't have a good picture of that. This is the electronics uh, that actually fires the fake exhaust ports. See, it looks like there's flames in it. That's the airplane ready to go flying. And this gives a little bit more scale right here of the airplane. So yeah, folks, this is a really cool project and it's absolutely kick ass. Uh, so thanks for watching my video, folks. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to do more uh, videos on the 3D. I had a couple of people reach out and ask me to do more videos on the 3D printing and 3D design. Rock on, everybody. Have a great day.